below. Uh, let me double check. Let me get, ooh. Uh, I think it was gonna check there, but then it didn't quite alt tab out. Okay, so, oh, it went black. I think that's because I alt tabbed out. So you guys might be able to still hear me. Oh, there we go. Hold on, it's back. <laughs> okay, so I can see it, at least on my side. Do, do, do. Hopefully you guys can see it on your side. I think I've got lined up a different game for every game of the, for every day of the week. So <laughs> I've got to get better at uh, making sure I can alternate between them all because there's different, just different levels of balancing and stuff like that. I got to do like this. I got to turn up the sound a little bit. Miss Kinchy's kind of quiet. So, you know, there's a sound balancing element to that too. So welcome back you guys. And actually, you know, since we're already on the idea of channel updates, I'll use the little beginning here because I think they all need a rest, right? A little bit? No? Okay, so we're going to go get some food. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to tell you some ideas. So we've been kind of balancing between indie kind of survival games and and kind of games that focus more on adventure. We kind of are in that weird kind of spot between adventure and survival. We kind of have to make our, inv make our own adventure in the uh, survival games and make our own survival in the adventure games, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I just repeated myself twice. <laughs> but vice versa. We, we need add, we, we add, we've so far been adding survival elements to non-survival games and then adding adventure elements to, adventure, uh, to survival games. So we're kind of in that weird balance there. Ooh, we got a... Uh, just more people. Let's go ahead and talk to the bar owner. I always turn down the sound on my end. The sound on my end is still pretty loud. Um, ooh, we have tons of this stuff. I forgot. And they do not care about s us selling it to them. So we could either use this armor and just sell it. But since we're crossbow kind of focused and stealth focused, this is not something we care about. I mean, that's really nice armor. Really nice armor, but it's going to make us rich. There we go. Naginatas are nice, uh, but unfortunately not really what we care about right now. So, as much as I'd like to. Oh, they ran out of money. And we have some, uh, I forgot, we, we used them as bait in order to get some heads. So we have some heads, too, that we can sell. I'm surprised we saw enough stuff to sell that. Um, that hurts crossbows too, so we'll have to get rid of that as well. We need to find somewhere where it has enough money to purchase what we're selling. Let's go here. Actually, we could go and, okay, so, so far the toothpick has been doing me well, but there are better options for damage, and I'm wondering if maybe we, that's something we should opt for, as opposed to weapon speed necessarily as we're going up in skill probably probably okay so if you want to hear my problem with the eagle's cross is the biggest issue with the eagle's cross is it takes really long to shoot so if you're very similar in speed you're not going to be able to turn around and fire very quickly because you're going to need to reload so you're going to have to find a way to get away spring bat's pretty fun uh right there it's pretty it's kind of a surprising evolution uh, because it's more like a shotgun than anything except with shooting slugs it's like sh you're basically shooting a shotgun slug into somebody i'm gonna just sell that because we're not really gonna end up using it um let's put the sleeping bag in here and sell that put all that stuff in here the only thing is is that the ammo we're using right now is dirt cheap and we can have lots of it oh i almost bought back the head i don't want to do that sell this and these Ooh, can't afford it anymore. So there's also the old world bows, which have their elements to them, which are really nice. But I, I wanted to give you a chance to look at the difference between a masterwork toothpick, or actually, hold on, let's do specialist to specialist, right? Specialist to specialist, right? So you're looking at a damage difference of 73 to 119 damage versus 17 to 30. That is a very big damage difference. Uh, now, bleed is really what ends up coming into play here. Uh, not only does 50% bleed, but you can start setting a bunch of bleeds on people. And end up, oftentimes, end up doing a little bit better. Ironically enough. The toothpick's technically not the worst. The junk bow, I believe, is worse than the, the toothpick. If I remember from memory. Or, they're very close together, at least. 
the ranger is pretty nice uh, in terms of a middle ground. Because the thing is, you also have to consider range. Range here is 182 meters. We're talking 48 meters. Range is only going to matter when you initiate your combat. Only going to matter when you initiate the combat. Because once you start, like... Once you start running back and shooting at them, right? Unless you have a guard, unless you unless you're basically having someone hold the person where they are, range becomes irrelevant. Um, so range is not necessarily the best thing to to uh, fight for. Old world mark old world bow mark two is pretty nice. Uh, it's not quite as much damage, but it's a pretty nice double, like almost double. It could be potentially double damage, even of a specialist toothpick, and can shoot pretty fast in and of itself. It is a little bit does have its minimum is twice as much though. Still, if you can see, it's got a nicer range, but again, that doesn't really matter that much for us. I hate to say it, but even though the toothpick takes forever to kill people, it might actually still be better. Oh, there's a specialist version. The thing is, is that you see that range? That's a two. That's two point. Hold on, two point five six to six seconds of a reload. That means you have to be standing there for potentially six seconds while the person's trying to come get you. Uh, so you need to be able to reach significantly faster than them to reload that in any decent amount of time. Now that that has a world mark one is pretty interesting in the fact that you can see that it has a lower max, but a little bit of a higher minimum, but less damage. So, there's a trade-off there. World Mark II is pretty nice, though. It's not something to scoff at. Eagle's Cross, it's amazing if you hit them in a vital organ the first time. <laughs> Otherwise, in between every miss, you're shooting... Like, so, unless you're really high skill, as you see like the required skill there, you're not going to really be that well off. So, I, I wanted to take an opportunity to kind of show you guys more about crossbows. These crossbows are not really... Um, and people use them a lot. I shouldn't say that it's not that they're not popular, but most people kind of kind of leave that to just be like, oh, well, you know how they work. It's a ranged weapon. But I just, you know, for the benefit of those of you who have been wondering <laughs> how they work and uh, haven't found a crossbow um, discussion. Because I will say that when you start getting into talking about crossbows, some people just talk about certain things being, I guess, uh, with any weapon in any game. You start getting into a thing of where people say this is the best thing in all circumstances, right? Oh, I think that's the person we put on the post. But really, there are certain circumstances where some just do better. Spring Bat's a nice one for against heavy armor. In fact, Spring Bat would be a great alternative if they had a better quality one. If they had a better quality one, I would be using it, probably. Um, but seeing as we don't have a better quality one, I don't think it's worth it. A masterwork spring bat, you just run up and you just launch it into the guy. That guy could be heavily armored and you're hurting him bad. You're hurting him bad because that's pretty much what its specialist intention is. Is to just really badly hurt someone. Okay, hold on. Feed and crawl. We're going to just practice a little bit. Remember, we attacked last time, but we just didn't have enough... I just don't think we... I think if we're a little more skilled, we won't need better crossbows. Because I'm pretty sure that our, once we get better skilled, we'll be able to just... You know, that'll increase our attack speed. That'll increase everything. Trust me, it'll be, it'll be way better if we're more skilled. And one of the best ways to get more skilled is just to fire upon as many targets as possible. And this is a great location to do it. I don't even think it matters if we hit. Uh oh. But he didn't like the fact that we accidentally shot him. <laughs> okay, hold on. We don't need this stuff. But we are going to go to where these guys are. Our movement speed is pretty nice now, too. Where as long as you have high movement speed, you're good. Off. You're good. So we do want to ultimately attack Stoat. But I think we need to get our, our skill up a little bit more so we have a higher rate of fire. And these guys are really nice and safe to to raise that against. Where last time we took out two guards. Oh, we took it. Oh, boy. Didn't see that guy. Woo. 
Remember, we can fire from crazy short range with this. We're basically using... It's basically the submachine gun of of the Kinchi world. In which you can... It's very, very good at short ranges. Um, and, and a very nice fire rate. I think I'm shooting through the, the metal. I don't think I can hit him because of the metal blocking us. Let's see. Oh, someone attacking us? Oh, someone is. Someone's attacking us at close range. Or they shot us. We shot each other, maybe. That's probably what happened. Aiming gives you XP in and of itself. So if even if you don't hit, you do get XP for aiming. So there, don't worry about that. But as you can see, even though we've been using the crossbow a lot, we are missing like crazy. <laughs> Now, this that's partly because this is just not a very accurate weapon. But as we get better, the, 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 this weapon specifically, you can get crazy good at just, like, stun-locking people. Just look how fast we fire. Especially when offset a little bit. That is a crazy fast reload speed. Looking at 140... Uh, one, uh, one second, 40... Uh, one minute... Oh, sorry, one, one minute. One minute, point forty seconds. I want to see how fast we're going up the crossbow. We can just waste as much ammo as we want because we have tons and tons of ammo. I want to see if this is uh, effectively raising it up. Oh, it's raising it up. Nice. And he's kind of providing a good target. I, I really don't know why it's, we're missing him so dramatically. I think it's that metal. I think it, uh, the arrows are raising and hitting the, the metal. Yes, that is it. There, metal, the metal is blocking it. Partly. Some are getting around, but the others aren't. Uh, we're going to move... Oh, actually, I, this kind of works. I don't want to be gimmicky, so let's... Using crossbows already can be a little bit of a, a pretty big edge to have. Especially when you're a full mobile force of crossbows. Wait, where are you guys running? Wait, is that guy alive? Picklock. Free him. Where'd the guy go? Did we hit him? I guess maybe we knocked him out. Surprise, we have a 90% chance to, to picklock this guy. We haven't saved him. Okay. Uh, I actually wasn't going to advise you following behind us. Okay. Because we're about to go over here and interrupt this party. So you might not be so safe. Remember, this is the guy we. This is one of the 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 United City guys we put on the uh, the post. I'm pretty sure, unless they got their own new guy. It's hard to tell because it's in the rock. Oh no, they got their own new guy. Oh my gosh, they. What have they been doing since I've been gone? This is a ton of them. This is way more than there normally is. Um, I'm going to sneak these guys. I'm going to have them knock out. Oh, no. I don't care about that anymore. I'm going to just shoot in. Because that's all we care about right now is getting that crossbow up. We have enough money. We don't need more money. We need vengeance, not money. <laughs> we need vengeance, not money. Uh, and we're not going to get it if we stick around. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, whoop, come on, run. Run and fire, or that's what we're doing. We're, we're hit and run tactics here. Fire, 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 whoop. Hold on, let's run back to Mongrel. Once we get into Mongrel, they're going to be fighting with the guards, meaning that we, we will be able to just assist the guards with, with range support. And get some precision up, too, which is nice. Always nice to get some. When would we get the heads anyway? Okay, let's run back up to the guards. Let's run back up here. And there we go. The guards are coming in. Now, we need to just support their attack. I think if we run here, we'll probably be able to do it. 
Turn it off fast forward so that we don't uh, interrupt anything. There we go. And then we need to look on the other end. I'm pretty sure they're all back there, right? Ah. Come on, fire on, fire on them. We probably will end up just shooting. Ah, yes, we are. <laughs> we are just shooting at them from there. So let's come over here. I do want to get hits. I mean, as much as just aiming can give us XP, I do like the idea of getting some hits. And if only to just demonstrate our abilities. It's kind of hard to... <laughs> kind of hard to film under here. Okay. Also, we'll get some precision, I think. I'm accidentally shooting our allies. Wait, who do you have on your bag? Uh, not bag. Your back. It's a uh, fog prince. Let's see where he drops them because we can still take that guy's head. He'll typically drop them. Typically, I say that typically. <laughs> not necessarily. He will not necessarily drop him, but he will very likely drop him. Especially if we accidentally shoot him in the back enough. The good thing is we we are getting some precision up, which is nice too. This is something that we can do here that would be harder uh, to do out by the Empire area. Oh, there! now that's a spring bat I think on him. Yep. Yeah, that looks like the spring bat. Okay, let's follow. They're going somewhere. They have something in mind. Ah! So let's see where this guy drops the body. Oh, they're going out way over here. They're really fighting a huge group. Let's shoot that one. It's a little further away. Because we do want to pick up free money when we can get it. So how are we doing on crossbows? To someone in the background going, you're dead, I want your junk. Um, precision shooting has gone up very nicely. Sitting at 20. 20 and 31, my gosh. <laughs> Carl Cash has been shooting his friends alone more than Jag longer has. Oh, where are the, these guys going? Are they going? There's going to be more fighting, so let's go. There's just so much. There's a, such a huge volume of fighting in this area, so it's very good to train up on, in. Let's shoot these these guys. Oops. There's Jag Longer up here. Oh, we could shoot that guy too. Light him up. Light him up on the ground. <laughs> okay. We got him. Okay, was that? Oh, that was a prince too. Get him. Oh, he dropped the body. So, we're going we're gonna to get two heads for the price of one. There we go. We were following him to get one. We ended up getting two. So let's go back in here. Let's go back in here and sell some more stuff. Sell those heads. We need to sell those heads. And maybe even get a little bit better uh, sidearms. We may even want to go into sabers more than... Uh, I know even though... Oh, we do also have the Falling Sun, which would be really nice to do. But that would have to be a primary. Uh, I'm almost going to say we should just do sabers because of the defense bonus. I think will be better for us since we're trying. We're, we're if we do go into a combat situation, probably the the most likely most likely all we're trying to come out of that with is to hold it so the other one can shoot. If that makes sense. So I think that if we both do hold sabers, oh no, it's not. It's a it's a prime weapon. I just forgot. We need long swords. I forgot. Long swords are the 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 secondary variant of sabers. Hmm. Does he sell any long swords? I don't think he does. Long swords can be a bit tricky to find. It can be very tricky to find, and I don't think we're gonna be able to like with the with this. We're actually having a defense bone defense negative. Sorry. Uh. Yeah, I'm not seeing any way of having a defensive defensive one. And Katana is the closest thing, right? Oh no, Wakazashi is. 
with having only minus two. The um, Jaglonger, that's a minus four. And it's stolen, so we you know, might as well sell it. But we need to have another alternative first, which is Wakazashi. Katoon 2, that's refitted blade, so definitely better. There we go. So we have a, both have a, a somewhat decent firearm, uh, not firearm, <laughs> sidearm. There we go. Throw these in here. That isn't dramatically lowering our defensive skill, which we do still need. All right, so let's go ahead, go back toward where Crawl is. Oh no, Crawl's eating again. So I think the thing is, we gotta also stick around just so Crawl can get some food. He's even sleeping. He's gonna eat through food really fast since he's an animal. He's gonna be very useful later on for serving kind of as a guard. Uh, in terms of like having him kind of just uh, run up and then be low to the ground so he shoot over his head. Because I'm pretty sure deviation... Because basically there's a physical projectile, if, as you can see, that goes out. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be harder to hit the smaller target. I, I, I just feel like it often does happen, go that way. Not guaranteeing it though. And precision fire is going to be a way to protect ourselves. From just destroying... As you can see, we're just lighting this guy up at point-blank range. And since we're we're caught... Oh, we just shot ourselves in the back. Hold on. We're probably going to shoot him in the back. That's fine. Okay. Okay, let's medic ourselves real quick. We just want to keep coming by crawl whenever he starts losing food because I want him to get him back up before we go and do another attack. Because it takes a long time to whittle down a UC samurai with, with these particular weapons. The sergeants, not so much because they don't wear headgear. So it's a, you know, a very quick way of getting rid of them. If you can, because with volume of fire, you're very likely to find the, the holes in their armor. Which is another problem with using very high damage ones is the percentage that your weapon's going to do less damage is greater. <laughs> so if you look at right here, you can see the they call it twenty four percent cut resistance or harpoon resistance. I think the thirteen point harpoon resistance is what affects. Uh, I think it's harpoon resistance that affects crossbows. I'm not entirely sure, but it's gonna be pretty bad on a. Uh, It's going to be pretty bad to deal with, especially with just these weak weapons. If you fire a lot, then you're just really focusing on the bleeds to do the damage. You just try to set a bleed on them and let the bleed bleed them out. Let's run around. Or it, or if you shoot a lot, you're very likely going to just miss the coverage of the armor, hit a place where it's not really armored, and then pretty much take them out. So... Again, that requires a lot of time and getting lucky with something that doesn't shoot very fast. Or something like this. We're very, very we're going to hit a good spot every once in a while. In fact, we might even attack the Holy Nation for a little bit. Just because I know they don't have a lot of areas. And they're just serving as a target dummy for our attacks. We don't necessarily have anything in particular against them more than they have against us. Of not simply liking us because we're Shaq right now. But, seeing as, uh, we're caught, we need to move on to, we're caught, <laughs> probably more profitable prey, right, as, as, uh, as bandits, <laughs> they, those will be a pretty good target. So it's literally nothing personal, just business on that one. And considering that they don't really run that fast. They are just sitting ducks. Just sitting ducks. Mongrel is going to be kind of our hideout. Because we don't really like any of the main factions. As, as this team here. I think the... Hold on. I think we're on the right way. I don't know if I want to go near Blister Hill. I think maybe 
Holy Farm Garrisons might be better. Or actually, Holy Military Base. Ooh, I'm kind of worried that they might have crossbows, though. I don't want to go toward a city that might have harpoons. That's That'll be uh, uncomfortable if they uh, we do that. Because they very, mel very well may uh, hurt us pretty badly. Crawl needs some more food, but we'll, we'll be back for him. In the meanwhile, we need to just shoot some stuff up. We need to find some uh, a way of honing our skills here. And barracks is our nice way to do it. Ah, barracks. They should have somebody near here, right? I mean, we're, we are raiders. So, and they're going to be hostile to us eventually, so... Attack unprovoked? <laughs> we got... We're not playing the good guys. Oh, well, we're playing more. We're playing, uh, we're caught. Maybe good guys turn bandits. Good guys gone bad. Because initially, Larkesh, which was the first character we started off, wanted to be the honorable Conan type. But, but after, after the, we're caught. After that, I don't think we, uh, I think we changed, we changed direction pretty mightily. I guess we could still go with the Honorable Raider archetype. But an Honorable in like the, the Star, Star Trek Klingon sense of that uh, victory is honorable. <laughs> victory is honorable. So it's kind of like a modified honor system. Oh, that you don't rob you don't rob people, but you take it you take it outright. You don't rob them or lie to them, but at the same time you you know, you're gonna take it outright. <laughs> there we go. And I guess we don't really like the Holy Nation either, so we're starving them out. I guess the tactical maneuver here. <laughs> that guy just tripped over unconscious from blood loss, I guess. Yeah, from blood loss. See, the blood loss is what it's the hidden gem with fighting with with the with the uh, crossbow, with especially a fast firing one. You can just make them fall over from. They just run out of blood. They run out of blood to really resist your combat. And we could have gotten some melee skill against them, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, we don't really care about anything they have on them. We're, we're trying to honorably fight them in order to uh, hone our skills. <laughs> so if they live, they live. Well, nobody here. Well, we expected uh, armed resistance, not a, we're caught, not a band of farmers. I was hoping that they would call out the band that would call out the the guards, but it doesn't seem like it has. So I want to heal them up. As long as they don't attack me before I leave, we'll call it even. We wanted combat skill anyway. Kind of a funny turnaround when you think about it. <laughs> okay. So I think that's all of them, or vast majority of them. Who's hungry bandits? You know, hungry bandits. You're also my. You're like, you're also gonna get taken out. Woo! Hold on. I was trying when trying to fight and train. Hold on. Seems like our training is going to be take a little bit. We'll use this opportunity to learn some uh, melee combat. Oh, we are really getting dug into here. Okay, hold on. Maybe we need to run back. Lighten up the, the, the herd a little bit. Because we've been training crossbows for so long, we're not really that great at uh, conventional combat. Back up. Because I think our conventional combat skill, skills are like... Eh, well, actually surprisingly higher than I expected, considering that we were... Really, getting, I guess we just were getting overwhelmed. 
This should lighten, soften him up a little bit with some arrow fire before we go in. Who's not softened up? Who needs more softening? There we go. There we go. That guy's hit. Let's soften up the leader a little bit more before we go in again. And let's heal ourselves a little bit so we're not bleeding. His blood loss is the secret enemy. Maybe do one more set of fire and then we'll go in. Throw a block for a little bit and then go. I'm going to throw a block while they're changing weapons just to see if that would help. I'm not sure if it did. I think, hold on. Carl Cash, you, you back up. They can only one at, one at a time fight them anyway, so. Hold on. You you stick to crossbows. You're a little too hurt to go back into to heavy fighting. I actually think Jack Longer is a little bit better than him. And oh no no never mind. His melee defense is higher. I'm kind of surprised he's having as much trouble as he is. All right, let's turn off ranged and go in melee combat. Yeah, he's having a lot more trouble than I really anticipated. Oh, he's down. That's not good. Jag Longer's got to help. Oh, no, he's going to get back up. I, th I think he just got knocked out for a second. We're, we're training We're training for our, our assault on Stoat. First aid yourself. No, 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 no. Tra heal yourself. Heal yourself. There you go, come on. Beat him up. That's right. Take him down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Okay, heal you guys so you know, you guys heal yourself up. Oh, we got crawl back there. We could have probably brought crawl considering we were just gonna train. He could have used him to train a little bit. He's more of a pet now than a <laughs> he's more of a pet than a fighter. Oh, you guys again. Hold on. I expected you guys to flee, not stay around. All right, we'll leave you guys. Whoa, boy. Okay, now we can't. We, I was going to say I was going to leave him alone, but now we can't. We do need to fight him now because otherwise, Carl Cash could be in trouble. Whoop. Come on. This is going to get his toughness up pretty nicely. No, I think this is like the first time in any game I've attacked a farming community. I've never actually attacked farms before in Kinchi. So this is the first. First bandit real play, like really real bandit playthrough. I've ever, like virtually in any game. I don't typically play bandits. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to actually... And, and we can kind of do it without any real fear because we don't really care about our reputation with them because they, they literally don't care about us. Come on. Get, get some shots in. And we did warn them that they attacked us again. I guess we, we incited it. If we saw him again, I guess we'll say it, we'll leave it like that. <laughs> oh boy, that was a pretty hefty hit to the chest. Come on, just launch, launch. Oh, we just shot, uh, we just shot her in the back. Hold on, shoot them. Uh oh, there we go. Hold on, are they almost done? Oh my gosh, they have so much more blood. Okay, there we go. First aid. Basically, think of it like a vampire build. You're basically building your guy to to drain all the blood in this kind of style of play. You're draining them to you're building, you're training them up to to drain all the blood out of the enemy. And I'm actually gonna run down. I know that the who are called we're kind of criminals. I think in the Shrek Kingdom. <laughs> Funny enough, because we don't really want again. We don't really like them. Playing as we don't like them as well. Because we kind of have our own honor, honor code. Which is kind of a Reaver-esque. 
honor code, and the other one's kind of got a uh, a score system honor code of oh, you got to follow these sets of rules just because you lost once or something like that. So we're gonna we're we're not gonna stick with that. They don't believe in counting people out. Or taking food. They they care about valuables. They're not gonna. They're not. They don't. They don't. They don't uh, take food uh, that they don't need. They take uh, trophy trophies and trophies, armor, and weapons. <laughs> they go for the high value items, or just to fight it in and of itself. And that's what we're doing with Unbroken. To differentiate ourselves from the Berserkers a little bit too. These Berserkers are kind of like Shek Kingdom... Uh, we call it? Plus, I think? Or Shek Kingdom... Or like Shek Kingdom... Actually, we're kind of more like the Berserkers if we do that. But Shek Kingdom does take like the... They rather... They take just... Kind of do the same thing. They just take low value items like food and stuff like that, with kind of overwhelming force. Oop. So I guess it's a uh, we call it. They actually go after the hard targets, <laughs> the berserkers and these guys, the unbroken. They don't go after all the easy targets. They might attack an easy target if it's visible. But they don't really care about taking anything unless it's like trophies, like cannibal heads and stuff like that. Trying to get into the narrative of our little party here. I guess that makes sense considering it was uh, nobles that led to his brother and his brother's dog starving. <laughs> or his brother technically dying dying after getting Almost escaping with them, returning for the dog. Returning for the dog. I don't know if you starved or if he uh, just kind of blood out. Oh, so I don't remember exactly how they're gonna feel about us. So what I want to do is I want to run here, sneak. Who are, who doesn't have the bounty? Because we're only coming in here to to pry kind of an exile or someone who's not really well liked in this kingdom out to come with us to work with us and for you know forget the Shek kingdom help us instead uh let's think bar okay bar let's go into the bar now these guys would be a lot easier actually to take out oh there's Soto. We didn't take Soto. Let's take Soto. Oh, outcast check, huh? A rarity. I assume you're here to find fresh recruits, outcast. I am indeed. Fortunate. My my price is 3,000 cats. I am no servant, no check warrior, so I have no skills. But I will work for you if you hire me, outsider. Okay. Sounds fair. You're hired. Okay. I don't want to mess with anything about the character. I like to leave them as they are. Um... Let's go to squad. Move further over here. Oop, guys, please. <coughs> All right, so we got a third person, which will add to our firing line. Oh, we got Ruka here and Hotlongs, but I don't think... Hold on. Can I talk to them too? Oh, I can recruit them all? That'd be awesome. Uh, looking at my horns, outcast. No, I really couldn't care less about your horns. Yes, there's any stuff you are. No, okay, no. I really couldn't care less about your horns. Good, because I still prove I can still prove my worth in battle without them. I have a que- I have a question for you, outsider. What do you do if you're outnumbered on the battlefield? Fight tactically, take out the weakest opponents first. You hightail it out of the hell out there. Is there even a choice to keep fighting till the end? Surrender, I call it. Surrender and hope your life will be spared. Play dead and return for the heads another day. Uh, is there even a choice? to the end I tell it out of there simple fight tactically truth you must because that's kind of what we've been doing 
We must even our odds against we must even the odds against us when our situation looks bleak. We fight the enemy to the death, and we die with honor on the battlefield. Okay, but I didn't die. I awoke surrounded by death, still alive. They labeled me, labeled me a deserter and cut my horns off. I uh, cut my horns on my return. I am no longer a warrior, but a servant. No, I and mean, you didn't desert, sir. This this is actually tying into the narrative of our of our band. This is, this actually works really well because we're gonna be like, um. We're going to say, you, but you fought bravely. You didn't deserve that. Perhaps either way, I will not remain here in, uh, as an unclad warrior. But you, you seem different to uh, to other than other outsiders I've met, Outcast. Let's band, let's, let's band together. I'm intrigued to fight alongside you. It would be an honor. Sure, what could go wrong? I work alone. Sorry. Or, okay, uh, it would be an honor. Okay, confirm. I know your skills are probably not in crossbows. But you're about to get very good at crossbows. <laughs> or you can... I, hold on. You're kind of talented, aren't you? You're supposed to be pretty talented. Well, not quite as talented as the people we've had for a while. Good for a new recruit, but not quite there. Um, let's just get all the recruits we can. We're, we're taking all... We're, we're, we're saying, yeah, the Czech Kingdom isn't, uh, isn't going to be the one that's going to help these guys out. It's going to be us. Okay, so... You're a warrior outsider, one of the best. I know how to handle myself in a fight. I hate conflict. I know how to handle myself in a fight. There we go. A tolerable answer. Need an extra blade? Rain the giant, pure Sheck warrior, three seven thousand five hundred cats. You in outcast? Uh, Rain the giant. That's an odd name. My battle name given to me by the stone golem. A rare honor, only given to the best warriors, the hundred guardians. And why is one of the best Sheck warriors begging for work at a dingy bar? Hold on. Let's ask that. I was challenged and I lost my place in the Hundred Guardians. Now I grow eager for action. For challenge, my bones grow rusty and my stomach grows hungry. Each day I want for battle. Will you give me the action I need? Well, that's good enough. Uh, knowing my luck, we'll find action in no time. You're hired. Confirm. And let us find battle. And oh, we're Wow, we're getting tons of recruits now. Where are all these, like, it's just like where all the recruits came out, like, the woodwork. Let's talk to him. Otto. Check from the outside. Interesting. Tell me, Outcast, are you here to find new recruits? That's right, I am. Good, I'm looking for a recruit. Okay. There you go. So we got a lot of people. Let's move our squad over. Okay. We might need a Beastmaster quotations. By by that I mean is in uh, we call it someone who can watch crawl, <laughs> someone who can carry him around and watch him. So these guys aren't equipped with what we're kind of hoping to get them to. I don't think they quite realize that they've joined a bandit band. Don't worry, they'll realize it fast enough or soon enough. Let's get Jack Longer here to talk. Hot longs. Check from the outside. I'm right. Okay. Wow, we got tons of people. I don't know what happened. I was it? I I don't know what how it's happened, but we got tons of options here. So everyone but them. Hold on, let's move squads again. We're gonna crawl at the end. All move out here. Is all move out there? Uh, run here. So all but them. Are you guys running it? Okay, you're not running at unison. So run in unison. Run in. Uh, unison, and then unison, unison, and unison. So we got we got a firing line, everybody. They 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 might have some. Whoop, they they may initially be kind of built for uh for a particular kind of gameplay, but they're they're gonna quickly find out that that's not how we roll. <laughs> that's not uh, we we roll our own way, and that's crossbow crossbow line. <laughs> So we're, we're, with our role play here, we're trying to mostly be disaffected check. Technically, we could have a human or two or stuff like that since we're not really... Since we're more of a uh, a band about... We call it willpower and determination than we are uh, about... Uh, well, I guess you could say we're a Nichan band. <laughs> a Nichan band of warriors. Probably not true Nichan. Uh, we call it... Uh, but uh, we're, that's what we're kind of going with. 
technically, the fact that we're in a group period would kind of get rid of that. Hold on, let's heal up a little bit. It looks like we're not fully healed. Ooh, Dust Bandits. Maybe this might be a good chance to fight somebody. Dust Bandits, uh, we are kind of outnumbered, and I don't think these new people are quite geared up enough to really start fighting people who have some halfway decent skills. Not great skills, but halfway decent skills. A lot of the people are slow, too. I'm kind of actually worried about trying to get them back into Mongrel. Might be a pretty a little bit of a challenge. Let's have everyone sneak and run just run straight to Mongrel. How about that? Uh, be careful where you're going, Rain. You're kind of going a different direction than everyone else. Follow everyone. Here, follow uh, Carl Cash. There we go. Oh, boy. We ran into Bandit Bowman anyway. Or Bandits anyway. Just run, just run. <laughs> run to Mongrel! They did not like that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're, we're running away from one way or another. Oh, they got caught up. I guess we're just faster than them still. Even with, I think, some people moving fairly slow. And Rain, what's slowing you down? You're weightless. Why are you moving so slow? Armor and equipment? Oh, the boots. Take off the boots. I need those boots right now. Same for you, I think, right? We're not worried about those boots. You will get lighter boots. You will all be a, a different kind of fighter than you ever were before. You'll be a bandit. <laughs> You'll be a bandit soon enough. A cheesy crossbow bandit. Because you have never seen absolute devastation than a, than a full crossbow line versus a small amount of targets. There's nothing quite like it. Because uh, crossbows are are pretty powerful, and actually, since we do uh, do this, uh, we are doing this. We can actually buy a, some very crossbow uh, types. By that I mean is we can have we can have some specialists. We're gonna be a crossbow band with different specialists. Like we'd have front line of uh, that we have the short range arrows on, right? We just we, what we do is you tell them to hold, and you just have them sit there, right? You can have a front line of the crossbows. Uh, the not junk bows, but well, junk bows or or uh, whatever you call it. I can't think in my head. Who are those guys? Hungry bandits? We could probably fight hungry bandits. I think those guys wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let's do it. Attack unprovoked. Let's do it. I think we can get into combat with them and actually do pretty pretty well. Oh, I just realized. Let's 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 uh, let's uh, let some of the crossbow fighting happen first. Let's not let's not have any range yet until we have armor. Because if we don't have armor on these guys, there's going to be some serious uh, pain <laughs> going on. And we're going to have Kralkesh. Oh, well, I was going to say him taunt. But I'm going to have these guys taunt. Okay, so taunt, but then go into block. Taunt, or just taunt. How about that? Because we're not outnumbered, so. We should be fine enough to, to, to do that. If we go down, we shouldn't go down that bad. Oh boy, I, I'm, I really overestimated, I guess, our skills here. <laughs> I think I really overestimated. As long as one of these guys stay up. Okay, hold on. Let's hold back here. Taunt, hold. Fire. Crawl Cash, he's doing all right. Let's actually back him out of the fight and stop taunting and hold and have him run back. So these two are going to keep shooting, kind of dividing people up and shooting at him well, to help kind of divide the group up. Well, let's turn back ranged. That'll help divide up the, uh, the weight of the enemies so they're not just kind of bundling up on, on those guys. They can get some help that way <laughs> come on just fire on them see it, 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 once you get fast enough you just are just unloading 
and they can't move. Okay, so Hot Longs is down. That's fine. We gotta help them out. Let's move on to this side. So when we fire, we don't just fire through uselessly. Ooh, our precision. I think we talk. I technically think we took down Ruka. <laughs> think we took down Ruka. That was probably our bad. Okay, we take the leader out of the fight. There we go. We're kind of ironically kind of going for, I guess, a Mongolian tactic here. Like, by Mongolian, just without the horses. Like, Mongolian, uh... I, I we called, uh... Golden, Golden Horde, I think they were called at the time. Not Mongolian. I think they were called Golden Horde. With, like, Genghis Khan and everything. I think there was, like... And then you had, like, later on you had Timujin... I, think I, I, I like which is like from Timber the Lame or something like that. I can't remember all the names of like the uh, Mongolian Empire like was a huge one, but I can't remember all the names of how like they divided it because I think that there's different like individual names that they had in all like the different groups, which is pretty cool. Everyone always confuses the Huns and the 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 Mongolian Empire. I have no idea why. <laughs> Technically, two different. I, I guess because um. They had similar receptions and similar some similar tactics in some ways. Some tactics were similar in some ways, but um, but they get mixed together a lot. Kind of like everyone forgets about Gaul. Everyone always forgets about Gaul. I think I just played enough Rome Total War, and then later on with with the uh, Attila Total uh, uh, Total War kind of know a little bit <laughs> but uh yeah there's a lot of association in between the two i don't know why i guess maybe they may have had something connected tactic wise and then they did i think use horse archer cavalry too which is kind of the calling card of the i call it the mongolian empire Whoop. okay let's wait around till hot longs is up or in fact, actually, we can have someone pick up hot lungs and boost their strength. How about uh, who's got some low strength so we can boost them up? One strength. Soto's got one strength. Soto, you pick them up. Pick up. Just walk your way toward Mongrel. I don't think we have, uh, unfortunately, any splint kits. No, we do. We actually do have a splint kit. Splint injuries. Hold on. On. Splint injuries with him. So I'm splint everyone's injuries. Okay, you splint injuries on you, splint injuries on you, and splint injuries on you. And that's it. And you should be able to move faster? No. Still pretty slow. One person's in a recovery coma. That's fine. We have enough food to last us for a while, I think. I say that, but I'm not entirely certain. Uh oh, <laughs> Paladins! Don't want really to be dealing with Paladins right now. Let me sneak, just in case. Just until they get by. Half of combat is being smart enough not to enter enter them unnecessarily. Once we get crossbows for them, this will very much turn around. Oh, who's behind us and is seeing us? Who's seeing us back there? Oh, you guys? Uh oh. Keep on going. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, hold on. Why did you guys all stop? I think someone's healed enough, I think, I guess, to, uh... To move a little faster, because suddenly we all got a lot faster. Kind of worried about poor old crawl there. He hasn't doesn't have any food. I think in the original Mulan movie, I think that was actually a thing. 
where they actually mistook the record. They actually called the Mongolians that were invading China at the time. They called them Huns, which was you know imply Huns from Hungary, <laughs> right? We were caught so different different part of the uh, different different kind of area. And I think and fun little fun fact about Attila, since I'm speaking about that, is he was actually raised by Romans. Funny enough, he was a like an exchange program. It's, I don't know how to express it other than that. Uh, a hostage exchange program, maybe? But um, where basically a Roman was raised... Like, where basically Romans would have, like, the... like the People who were going to be in leadership in the future raised in Rome from other, like, tributaries or places nearby. And they... And he... That was one of the reasons why he absolutely hated Rome is he just didn't like being there. He just didn't like Rome in general. So, fun little fun little historical stuff. But I I imagine that there's multiple countries in the world, like Normandy, probably Normandy for a long time was was its own little like sovereign area, it was its own little sovereign area away from France, uh, because that's where like you got like the Normans, Duke of Normandy, all that, where ultimately kind of the Norman invasion on the British Isles. We're gonna we don't probably don't need to sneak anymore, do we? You don't need to sneak anymore. Come on, run. Run your way up there. Oh man, we're just so slow. I think it's I think, I think it's poss- possibly from carrying hot longs. Hot longs okay. Hot longs is okay. So to put them put them down. I think them now we can run some with decent speed or move it some a little a little faster. Um, who's who's limping behind us? That's Ruka. Ruka, did you need splint injuries? Splint injuries, there we go. Come on, splinter, splint her injuries, there we go. Oh gosh, what are we fighting? <laughs> Just notice we ran into a combat. Do we attack, attack ourselves? Oh no, 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 we're attacking Ruka. <laughs> Who are we attacking? Oh, we're attacking, oh, Fogman. It's Fogman, we ran into Fogman, but we're not even, oh, we just reached the edge. Fight the Fogmen! Fight the Fogmen! Everybody, fight the Fogmen! This is not good. Worst case scenario, because we're all divided up. Crawlcash is way back. Run closer. Probably need you up close. In fact, just in melee combat. Just reach in melee combat. I just realized it's going to be hard to sneak through here. Oh, we had Soto go down. Fortunately, not enough enemies around to really capitalize on us. Okay, hold on. Turn off ranged and actually just go into combat here. No? Okay, everybody first aid Soto. Um, how about you? First aid. For a second, I thought we were we were attacking ourselves. Which had me real worried. Soto, get up, please. Ah, recovery, com- recovery coma. Uh, pick them up. You know, I might even just pick up a few people and run with them through the fo- through the fog ourselves. Hold on, pick up. No, who you have? Who do you have in your shoulder? Pick up, rain the giant. Or no, Ruka. Pick up. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do pa- packs of two. We're gonna do packs of two. The rest of you guys, so hide, hide somewhere reasonably out of the way. And you two, just run, run as fast as you can. Whereas you guys stay kind of hidden. Stay hidden out of the way. Yeah, they're running into more combat. But that's fine because they're kind of they're gonna be fast. Nineteen and ooh seventeen. Okay, that's not good. We need to lighten Jag Longer's weight a little bit. Ooh, we're not gonna be able to do that, are we? We're really not gonna be able to do that. Uh, 
Ooh, boy. Um, let's think here. Minus five, just from encumbrance. So how about we do... Throw our helmet in there, because that's four. Throw our armor. In there. And they can do the same, kind of. And kind of do the same. How heavy is that armor, I wonder? Five? It's not really that heavy, so it's not going to help us a ton. But it might give us enough speed. It might give us just enough speed. That's the same as the sleeping bag. Might as well wear it on him. Or on Jaglonger, on her. Uh, how about... Um... I give it to... How about Jaglonger? I give your armor to Crawlcash. There we go. Throw it in there. Have both of them run. That should make them a lot faster. Ah, yes. Both of them are in their 20s now. Speed-wise, right? Yeah, they're both, they're both 20. That's close enough. Nothing will catch them except the Prince, I think. They're running at 20. So, just run. Run like you're a god. Run like your light depends on it. Because it kind of does... When you drop those guys, you're going to come back for the other... You know, we'll take the fastest one to run with you. Oh, Crawl's getting hungry. Good thing is, is that they're kind of sneaking, so... people their, their chance of getting seen is not really high. They're not the best sneaker... You know, they're not the best at sneaking. But... That will work for now. <laughs> It'll work for now. Run, run, run. Get up to the post. Worst case scenario, if they do get grabbed and taken, we can free them. Because our stealth on our two primary characters are very, very good. Our stealth skills. Our two primary characters are are really nice. That, and once they start trying to eat somebody, you can kind of sneak up and do whatever you want. But you knock them out and then kill them and then, then take the person. If it's just princes. Or if when if there's a, a pause between when they put them on, you can put them down that way. So put down. So it just drops on the ground. Okay, so let's run these two back here. With these three. We gotta get them inside. Our secret hideout. With a shot, with a shek of the fog, <laughs> with a shek of the fog here. Be careful! Though. I gotta be careful. Though. Oh, we're running on air. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I said we gotta be really careful though, because if we're not, we could be in. We could get ourselves caught. Yes, we're going a little over time, but I, I want to get everyone inside the city first before I before I call it. Because I don't want to forget someone and then have them get captured and then that'd be a whole thing to have to save them later. Now they don't have proper bounties on them yet. They'll get we'll get them rena like renowned as, or I should say I should not I should not say renowned, but you know get them properly notorious soon enough. Because we can run almost as fast as we can sneak. We're pretty fast. Okay, so pick up Crawlcash. You pick up her. Oh no, who's fastest? Here, all of you stop sneaking so I can check out your speeds. 14, 16, and 16. All you basically can run, and you can run the fastest if you take off your gear. There's gear that's affecting your marshal, right? Or is it injuries? It's leg injury. Okay, so there's not much we can do there for a long while, so Crawl cash there. We'll we'll help you out, but let's take let's uh pick up and pick up and then heal them and see if maybe they get to a speed that's fine that's fine to run soon enough. So we'll leave Rain for the moment. Rain might be able to run back on her own 
18 might be fast enough to kind of just stay out of uh, reach. Sneak. There you go. Does she have a longsword? Ah, she does. That's that's ultimately what we want to go for. So that's already nice. So we're already... that Getting rain was already kind of a good investment. Because what we want is we want the front crossbow people to basically be... Um, initially our... our a defense defensive line, and then we might have a specialist or two with something like the Eagle's Cross. Oop, I, have, I didn't realize I self-paused. It wasn't loading. But something like a uh, specialist, like you could have a spring bat who runs up and pops someone at close range with a really high high damage ability, you know, high damage uh, crossbow. Uh, we could have a Eagle's Cross who basically just is reloading the entire time the other people were shooting and it's just the armor puncture while well, everyone else is stunning they're there to kind of like act like the spring bat and an armor puncture and it may even be better just to have only one eagle's cross and maybe two spring bats uh to act as more practical armor puncture alternatives or once there's enough of us against small targets we could just switch to a slower shooting thing uh because then it doesn't really matter since there's so many of us will be shooting at a rate that's a lot more acceptable. But we're not quite, we don't have the numbers quite yet to do that. Uh, okay, so we need to find, oh, we need to put these guys down. Put down. Now, Rain, are you better off? No, you're not. So, Crawl Catch, go back and grab Rain. Jag longer, you go ahead and start medicking. Whoa, who's in here? Okay, it's a uh, clot. You fight him too, and a medic. Go grab rain, please. Pick up. Pick up. You gonna go? Okay, maybe I have to pick up the area first. All right, there we go. Go grab rain. And once we get rain in here, we'll probably call it. And then we'll, basically we're going to just work on a crossbow line. Now we could deck out a few of them with the intent of having them basically just be in heavy armor. And just get... But with the highest anti-arrow armor, full coverage armor. So maybe white plate armor. I think white plate... And then there's plate armor, and then we call it plate jacket armor. White plate jacket, then there's normal plate jacket, and then there's dark plate jacket, or or black plate jacket. I don't remember. Black plate plate, plate jacket is typically better. Um, and I think I, I think it's better. It has better sneak, and it has it hurts less other values more. The white plate the white plate jacket is going to have a better dexterity modifier, and stuff like that. So they're going to probably use sabers. So if we do that, we can have maybe people with the best melee combat do the, those plate jackets. Other than our two people who are already really good at crossbows. And I, I almost want to say maybe our two shortest. Because I don't, again, I don't, I'm not entirely sure if height matters. But that would be funny if it does, because that would be a really good... That would be really good to have, uh, to just... If you wanted, if you wanted to just mess it up, like well, not mess it up, but like really be gimmicky. If if elevation of your character matters, like your hitbox matters for crossbow shots, then you could just uh you could just have your character be flat to the ground and bent over, and so when he's fighting, it's just shooting right over him, which would be absolutely hilarious to have a character like that. Because imagine trying to fight, basically laying flat. <laughs> like we got like as if you're like trying to touch your toes and but looking up and fighting by raising your arms up <laughs> just makes me laugh think of it crawl needs to eat needs to eat, eat, eat. so let's get let's get uh rain in there come on crawl cash you know you've been in this place multiple times you know how to get in And we do need to put their gear back on uh, for Crawl Cash and Jag Longer for, before we forget. The only problem about having someone who's like a permanent like a bodyguard area is then you really, really, really do need to only use 
very like non armor penetrating gear because if you're sending somebody with an equals cross loading up a big old long bolt and the aims fires and hits the back of your character's head the back of your uh your uh defender character hit the back of their head you're you pretty much might as well wave goodbye to them <laughs> because uh if they have any injuries to the head it's going to push them over that threshold and kill them especially if it's someone who's really talented with crossbows yeah, it can blast people, but if it blasts a part that doesn't matter, that's oftentimes what's kind of weak. And believe it or not, actually, that's one downside of fighting, fighting animals with crossbows, is hitting their limbs virtually means nothing for some animals. So if you crossbow bolt with 100-something damage to the legs, you're not really doing anything to them. You might slow them, I guess, but not really much else. Which is kind of ironic, considering... But then again, I guess that's for every weapon, so it's not not only for crossbows. Not special negative toward them. Okay, we got our gear back on. Okay, I think we're good. We're going to have all of them team, uh, form up right here real quick. Uh, Crawl can't because he's hungry. No, <laughs> not hungry because he's uh, in the base. All right, so we got our group. We got our squad. And we'll call it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we'll, we'll be interesting to see how these guys progress. How things go. So see you all later. Have a good one. And bye.